This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hi, this is Teresa Jackson for Creative Pro. I have a quick tip for InDesign users. But the fun part with this tip is we're not actually going to use InDesign. We're going to use Adobe Bridge because Adobe Bridge can do something pretty cool that you can't actually do in InDesign. We're going to use Adobe Bridge to find all of the links in an InDesign document. I'm viewing a folder here with some subfolders that have assets in it that are placed in this InDesign document. I'll select the InDesign document and you'll want to make sure that the metadata panel is visible in Bridge. And you can find the metadata panel in the window menu. This is just like any of the other Adobe apps. All the windows are listed here alphabetically. So we can see metadata. And the metadata panel gives us a view into this document for all kinds of different information, including linked files. If I collapse this and look down, you can see all the different types. You can even look at the document swatches in that document without even opening the document. Let's take a look at the linked files here. It's pretty cool that we get a list of every single asset in this document. But even better, Bridge gives us a way to view all of the linked files. And we do that by going up to View and coming down to Show Linked Files. So this shows us all the assets that are in that document. That's pretty awesome, but what's even better is it also tells us that there's some missing files. So if we open that InDesign document, we'd get those question marks on missing links. We see that there are 10 missing files. Clicking on the Show Missing Files button gives us a list of all of those images with a path of where they were. And right away, I can see what happened. These were linked from an external drive, and I forgot to plug in the external drive. So let's close this out and plug in the drive and try it again. I've plugged in the drive, so I'm going to go back to my images and graphics folder where the brochure is, select the brochure, and do this again. View, show linked files, and now there's no missing files because Bridge can access all of them. Now we can take all of these and save them into a collection so it's easy to come back to them. I'll do a Command A or a Control A to select everything. And then in the Collections panel at the bottom, I'll click the New Collection icon. And we can call this Brochure Links. And this is a virtual collection. So these images actually reside in different folders on my hard drive and some folders on an external drive. But the collection is a virtual way to see them all within the same location, like they were in the same folder. If I wanted to actually collect these and move them into their own folder or copy them to their own folder, we can easily do that here in Bridge by selecting all of them with a Control or Command A and then going to the File menu where we'll find the Move To or Copy To. So you would want to set up a folder before you did that. And that's essentially the same exact thing as using the package inside of InDesign, only you don't have to open InDesign. You don't have to make a copy of your document when you do it. You can just collect all of these images into a single location. So that's your InDesign quick tip using Adobe Bridge to collect all of your links. I hope you find it helpful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.